Miguel, first of all, how are you feeling after that scrimmage? I mean, I feel great. I feel great this season. I'm, I'm excited to be here and, you know, see what's going on this season. Yeah, I mean, you really have a lot of work to do. You still got to earn that job at second base. But how do you feel as far as that position really being yours heading into spring? And what's your mindset with that? Man, I feel great. I feel great defensively. Um, I'm working out a lot uh, this offseason in second. And I feel great. I feel great. All the staff, all the players helped me a lot all this offseason. And I'm just grateful that I have them in my team and help me. Yeah, we know you mainly played third base, you played first base, haven't played an inning at second base at the big league level, but how comfortable are you playing that position? I mean, I feel great, I feel great. Anytime then, I feel that I can help my team, I'd be, I'd just be glad. And, you know, for me, this is a great opportunity to help that team, and i, I got to be ready. I'm, I'm, I want to be, be there to help my team. Yeah, and I just got done talking to Miguel Rojas, and we talked about how he worked with you back in Miami. What did you learn from him? What did you pick his brain with? Just what has he taught you playing defense? I mean, he, he helped me a lot. We was talking about uh, my glove my glove position, my how I have to move my legs, you know, all my, you know, everything. We, we worked a lot. We were a lot. And uh, I'm just glad and the way he helped me every day and, I just, I'm just a, a lucky guy, and you know, I just grateful with him. Excellent. Yeah. Now I was going to ask you, how exciting is it for you that you're starting the second base journey, and you have Gavin Lux, who's going to be most likely the full-time, long-term solution at shortstop. Just two young, up-and-coming Dodgers. You've seen each other coming up in the system. How exciting is that for you? Man, it means a lot. You know, uh, it's a, I got great relationship with Gavin, and you know, he he helped me too a lot. You know. Uh, Basai, he's a young player too. We was talking about our first year too, and he tried, he helped me, and we just have a great time. Yeah, and how long do you think it's gonna take? We got Diego Cartaya, and uh, I asked Cartaya, I said, hey, is Miggy gonna be a star? He said 100%. I bet on him. What are your thoughts on Cartaya? I mean, uh, he's my brother. He's my brother right here. I mean, I'm just happy that he be here too in the camp, and hopefully he be in the bigs too soon. A hey, beautiful moment, man. Diego Cartaya, Miguel Vargas here. Yeah, for Pounded. So, yeah. Also want to ask you, too, about just your role on this team and just how excited you are to, at the plate. We know you're one of the best hitters, best hitters at the minor league level. Just what's going to be the biggest key for you to being able to replicate that same success at the big league level in the box? I mean, I just got to be what I try to do the same. I got to do my last five years on the minor. I know, you know, big league, the big leagues, you know, a lot of a lot of talent, a lot of great, you know, pitchers in there. And, you know, I'm just, I, I know I have a lot of guys here. And all the stuff helped me too. And I'm just happy and I'm just ready for it. Yeah, last question I want to ask you is, your father, a legend in Cuba, I want to know what is the biggest piece of advice that he's given you as a player? I mean, he always told me about be ready, whatever whatever the situation is, you know, trying to, to be ready before the game, before any situation. And, you know, for me, that's the key. Every time then something happens, I'm, I'm just trying to be ready for it. And that's the mindset he brings to me. And I'm just glad to have him as my dad. All right, thanks a lot, Miguel. Thank you.